With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. An infinite long wire is kept along z axis. Z is varying from infinity minus infinity to plus infinity. Having uniform charge density 10 by 9 nanocoulomb per meter. Electric field at a point 6, 8, 10 will be. So if I talk about the direction of electric field, if you see from the top, right, if you see from the top, it will be radially outward. If, if I say here there is a wire and the current is out, out of the flame, so at any point it will be directed, if, if I say at point this, it will be directed radially outward like this. So basically it will be the electric field will be in a perpendicular plane to that of the this uh, current carrying wire right. So we want the electric field at this point so we can remove this right because as we have seen that it will be radially outward direction and in a plane perpendicular to that of the wire right. So if you see here we know that the electric field because of a current carrying wire is having a magnitude 2 k lambda by r and this r is from z axis right because the wire lies along z axis so this r is from z axis right and if i talk about the direction so as we have already told uh, i i have already told that the r vector will be like this it will be radially outward taking the z axis as the center so basically it will be i will write down the direction of this uh, e vector it will be 2k lambda by r and direction is this it is a unit unit vector along the radius vector right taking the wire as the center like this this will be the direction where r is the magnitude right now if you see we got this expression now i will write down it will be equals to 2k lambda by r square r vector so now we just need to put the value so we know that the k here is 9 into 10 to the power 9 lambda is 9 by uh, 8 uh, 10 by 9 nanometer 10 by 9 nanometer this and if you see here the r square so we know as i have already discussed we will take this as radius and uh, the center will lie along the current carrying wire so the coordinate of this point you know already it is 6 comma 8 right so can you get the r square this is origin right this is origin so r square will be simply 6 square plus 8 square and similarly if you talk about the r vector it will be taking origin at the starting point because the wire lies on the z axis so it will be this so we are seeing the top view to get this right so we just need to put the value here so r square is uh, if you see this is 36 plus 64 it will be 100 so i will write down here 100 r square and uh, this is if you see 6 i cap plus 8 j cap right now if you see this uh, this these two will be 1 10 to the power 9 and minus 9 they both will be 1 this 9 will get cancelled out and this will get cancelled out and this will be 1 by 5 right so what we got here by 10 into this now if you see we took this r in centimeter right and uh, we have to multiply it with 100 to get this in si unit right so just uh, i will write down it is into 100 because the r is in denominator right if you see so i will divide it with 100 to convert it into meter into 6 i cap plus j cap and this will be the electric vector electric field vector 
Now if you see this will get cancelled out and you will get 120i cap plus 160 j cap as the electric field vector and this is the answer of this question now you can check for the option here 120 i cap plus 160 j cap d is the correct one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today